Solving for a parameter. So a parameter is a fancy way of saying a variable. So in this example, what we actually want to do is solve for a variable x. Okay? And this may look a little bit daunting because we have, what, five letters up there? But how we actually do it is very similar to stuff that we've solved before. So say I give you 7x minus 4 is equal to 10. And I, we're going to solve this, obviously, for x. What we would end up doing is adding the 4 over, leaving us with 7x is equal to 14, and then divide by 7, leaving us with x is equal to 2. This example is pretty straightforward because we're dealing all with numbers. Okay? The logic, though, is exactly the same as what we do over here. Okay? So all these variables just represent numbers. Okay? But instead of giving it to you as, you know, 2 times 4, we're just giving you b times d. So how you actually solve for x is exactly the same as what we did right over there. Okay? So b times d is just really a number. Subtract it over. Okay? So we've got a term with x by itself. And then we just want to solve for x. So just like we did over here, where we divided by 7, we just want to divide by the number in front of the x, a in this case. So divide by a, divide by a. x is equal to c minus bd over a. Sort of a funny looking answer, but it's the only way in this case we can solve for our parameter, solve for a variable x.